Well, see me out now. For me, it's for the drought. I got plans at the house. Baby, that's what I'm about. So Alright, so we done shopping. Did a little shopping spree for the 75 gallon. But now it's time for the hard part. First water change on this mug, so we gotta do a water change. And then we gotta get these plants situated. So as you can see, we got them, they basically, they stealing what they came in from the store. So we gotta take them out of those, take those off and replant them in little planters like this. I feel like that's the easy method for us if we will ever wanna move them, just plant them in little planters. So you can move them around the tank and they keep them secure in a spot. So we gotta get them in there. Do a water change, got a gravel vac this. Like I said, it's the first time since we had this up and running that we didn't actually change the water. So yeah, this 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 ain't gonna be fun. This definitely ain't gonna be fun. I feel like it's gonna be dirty, but we gotta do it. So yeah, we're gonna get get to it. We're gonna rearrange these plants. It's gonna be looking real nice and clean, clean the glass off, do all that. So they don't know what's coming in. They already ate, so that's why they all active like this, but it's definitely we got some nice nice little fish in here nice collection so so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start this water change though get this water up out of here and start gravel back and i'll be right back So we back, so we about to go ahead and I'll show y'all how I do our water changes. Um, this is a little overkill for this time, cause yeah, we got a hundred foot hose connected to it, which was a little overkill, but for the future, it's gonna be necessary. Um, so I just basically got this little pump, throw that mug in there. Preferably close to the bottom. Boom. Plug this in. And 40 minutes later, we should get a little bit of water. It's going through 100 feet of hose. That's why it's taking so long. I see it going through the holes. That's funny. Slowly, here it comes. Mm. Oh. So you get a nice little flow. Nice little flow. You don't have to turn it off super early though, so it's gonna overfeed it. But <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna make y'all watch this. I'll be back once it's done. So this, I'm finna, uh, we got the water level down low now. So basically I use this to get all the shit out the gravel, literally shit. So, yeah. The first time, you gonna see how dirty it is. Not that dirty, but it's a fresh tank. Look and see. Yeah. 
Definitely want to get towards the back. Had a couple casualties back there. I got they food up in here. Hey. Mm -hmm. Took they food. I gotta let that go. They need that. Put up some dirt. Uh, they be back here making. Doing my thing. I ain't gotta be perfect. Like I said, it's the first of many water changes, so we definitely gonna get it taken care of. On this side a little bit. Alright, so we back. Got the glass clean, got the gravel vac, got everything, got the plant situated. Everything looking nice. So now we about to get the clean water in here. Quick tip, this is how I do it, so. We had this water preparing all day. We dechlorinated, added all the food, nutrients for the plants, um, added alkaline buffer, because they told us our pH was a little low, so we added the buffer in there to get the pH up. Um, but yeah, we added iron and a flourish in there and prime, alkaline buffer, all that. So it's been sitting for about eight hours, so it's pretty good to go. So we're gonna get this pumping right back in there. Add that fresh water back so we can get that filter on real quick. Nice little stream of water going in there. But for the future, so just so y'all know for the video, basically we had to do it like this so we know how much 27 gallons is every time so we marked it on the tank. So from here on out, we can just uh, pump the water straight outside. So. We got ball spots in the lawn, so we're gonna pump the water straight outside and see if it helped grass grow in those areas. Um, but yeah, so this hundred, that's why I was saying, it's gonna come in handy later, but we just needed to see with 27 gallons, cause that's what we're gonna do our water changes at, probably each time. But yeah, little time lapse for y'all guys. About to get so, get so high, so high, so high, so high. Baby, come and take this, take this ride, this ride, this ride, this ride. We're gonna touch the, touch the, touch the sky, the sky, the sky, the sky. Baby, that's no lie, no lie, no lie. No lie, no lie, no lie. Uh, yeah, so we back. Got it all filled up. Don't top it off in the morning, but yeah. First water change. Look a little cloudy, not as clear as possible, but it should clear up by by the morning. But the fish still active, they swimming around. They ain't too bothered by the water change, so that's all good. The temperature didn't fluctuate none, so it's looking good. First water change complete. Man, and it does look good. Rearrange the plants. Yeah. Next video, we're gonna add a couple more fish in here. And that should be it. We'll cook a couple quarry cats at the bottom to clean the substrate. But yeah, we're gonna wrap this video up on this note. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, all that. And then we're gonna be back with another banger real soon. We're gonna try to keep the video schedule every Sunday. But yeah, like, like share, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate y'all. Peace.